what up y'all so we out here today making some content throwing on an air dog today so my boy's truck dick we got the fifth gen here so we just finished buttoning up everything on the bottom i'm gonna take y'all under now you guys know i got videos showing how to film or how to install air dogs on these rams so no need to make a step by step i'll put a link down below if you really want to see how to install it but air dog also has installation videos so my dog here he got the air dog 4g you can see this is the 150 4g uh it, i don't know if they still are but they were on clearance earlier um he got this for an awesome ass deal so black black hoses all the hoses are half inch diameter which is awesome this is uh the factory return going to the filler neck or the air dog return feed line and then this bad boy right here is coming to the uh actually this is the return air dog return to the tank and then this one is the feed coming to the sump so we went ahead went ahead and installed the air dog sump which is, this is my first time putting the diesel rx one on but it works good no leaking it's very tight all right cut fit in so since we ran the air dogs return to the top side we went ahead and just put the plug in for this one but you can run the return here as well it, it doesn't make a difference doesn't affect it uh everything is all buttoned back up factory fuel filters i don't even know if y'all can see up in there but all that stuff having the truck on the lift is a game changer if you've never done an air dog before or dropped your fuel tank so everything's all cleaned up i got the fuel filter still hand loose because when we crack it we're going to let it bleed out any air and then close her up uh but yeah man this is 100 percent bone stock so this is 2020 all right you and yes you can 100 percent install uh a air dog onto a 100 percent emissions intact truck because this one is for those y'all that watched the last video this is the same truck that we put the banks performance parts on so you come up here you can actually see it. We slapped the banks, uh, hot side pipe, cold side pipe on here. You see that one there? You see that one there? You can kind of see the pipes right there. And then up top, he did the banks uh, cold air intake and then the banks uh, intake horn, the monster ram horn. So now we're gonna go, gonna go ahead and do, just finish routing the harness. Everything is super clean, super professional, zip tied, right? I gotta tuck this up there and get a zip tie here. Oh, you guys can't see, but we clean this up here. So we're gonna lower the truck down, go up top, connect the, the air dog, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, fire this thing up. Quiet. So quiet, you can hear a church in the, oh, I said it messed up, a mouse in the church. But she's doing good though. Obviously, it's air dog, so the pumps are super quiet. Don't have to worry about loud grinding sounds. 5G pump or 4G 150 GPH doing its thing. You know we don't mess around when we get to work, baby. We got the fifth gen big booty. And we got the fourth gen big booty. He got the 4G 150. I got the 5G 150. Uh, truth be told, you guys, you can still run 4Gs. There's nothing wrong with running the AirDog 4Gs. Look at his ass coming back now. You happy? Yeah. <laughs> do it, bro. Do it. <laughs> but we just wrapped this up, though. So we're about to dip out of here now. Just had to show y'all a little quick something, something, what we had going on. Super quiet. I love it. So until next time, y'all. Your boy's out.